threat of being hunted lingered over us. Brother Ralph and I arrived in London and entered a certain safe house. We awaited Father Pearsons, who soon joined us. Before we left, it was proposed that as we would be inevitably captured, falsely accused and executed, Father Pearsons and I should each write a brief defense of our intentions and our mission before that would happen. We eventually agreed and set forth to write our defences. I explained that I never had in mind and was strictly forbidden by my father that sent me to deal with matter of state of policy of this realm. I stated firmly that the Catholic cause was so clear and compelling any partial mind must acknowledge its truth. I appealed for an opportunity to present it to the Privy Council and the assembled doctors and masters of the universities, saying to them, many innocent hands are lifted up to heaven for you daily by those English students beyond the sea, determined never to give you over, but either to win you heaven or die on your pikes. Be it known that we have made a league, all the Jesuits in the world, cheerfully to carry the cross you shall lay upon us and never to despair of your recovery while we have a man left to enjoy your Tyburn or to be racked with your torments or consumed with your prisons. The expense is reckoned, the enterprise is begun. It is of God, it cannot be withstood. So the faith was planted so it must be restored. I rolled up my parchment and left it unsealed without a word, and we set forth upon that very mission. Having bid our friends farewell, Brother Ralph and I took our leave of Father Pearsons, unaware as we began our travels of the effect that my paper was about to have upon England. Those who read my defence were suddenly encouraged and excited. Soon, copies of my defence began to spread across London and England, encouraging Catholics with a newfound confidence and establishing me as a leader and spokesman for the Catholic cause. The paper was titled uh, Campion's Brag and soon my name was spoken up and down England amongst Catholics and Anglicans alike. With Brother Rolf sometimes at my side, we often slept, ate and celebrated Mass outside during our travels, with spies and priest hunters desperately on our trail. Whenever I made my way back down to London and past the infamous Tyburn tree, I would take off my hat and walk under the gallows in honour of the martyrs, knowing that it was here that I would have my final warfare. <laughs>